going on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel back here with some forza horizon 4 content man they just did a live stream on mixer turn 10 studios playground games uh and they did about an hour long stream now i will link the full one down below for you guys but we finally got some brand new gameplay and feature news on this live stream it was actually very informative and probably one of the best ones that i've actually watched to this point, I mean, we were just, you know, fed recycled E3 content for the last, you know, month or so. And, as you know, it's awesome to start seeing this game in full. The map, I will say, I was looking at the map quite a bit on this live stream, and I'm excited for it. You know, I feel like they have a really good balance, and, you know, they did confirm that the map is exactly the same size as Forza Horizon 3. Now, I know a lot of you guys will be upset about that. I was a little bit upset, you know, at first when I did hear about that, but, you know, if you think about it, you got the four seasons, things will change, you know, the roads will feel different every single season so i feel like it's gonna feel a little bit bigger than it actually is but obviously though i feel like we all wish that it you know maybe have doubled in size from the original forza horizon 3 but we got the same map size once again we're going to use it to the best of our advantage i do feel though that the roads definitely feel longer in this game because they're not as straight a lot of the roads that we're seeing right now they have some type of bend or curve to them very quickly which is great for you know the drifting aspect of the game you know circuit racing and stuff like that where you can really kind of you know utilize the car and you know not just be topped out every single road that you're on so i definitely like the map so far from what we've seen and obviously you know more to come they did showcase quite a few really nice drifting roads and you know there were some ones out there that definitely you know caught my attention so i'm very excited to see more about the map and they did say that next week tuesday they will be releasing the full map and uh, that's gonna be our first look at the map itself they did say that there is an airport once again and there's also a secondary drag strip on the ice patch uh, on I think one of the frozen lakes when it does become winter so that's definitely gonna be interesting to see out there uh, but you know for the biggest thing though about this stream they did touch on customization finally maybe you know we got to see a little bit of character customization where they kind of you know teased off some of the clothing items same characters from forza horizon 3 which i <sighs> You know, I wish they would have maybe done brand new characters, but it, you know, it gave them a chance to really go high depth detail on these character models. So I definitely do understand that. I wish there was maybe a few newer ones that got added in, but they definitely do look a hell of a lot nicer than they did in the previous Forza Horizon. But they also did mention some of the new things in the game, specifically to do with the wide body kits and the drift suspension, also to the spacer kits that they have added in now it's not exactly to what i thought it was going to be like and we're going to talk about that in a few seconds now i did want to have forza motorsport 7 content out for you guys with that brand new july car pack but that will be starting up officially for tomorrow uh on the channel so make sure you guys do stay locked i just was super busy i did not get a chance to record any of the forza car pack on the day of that it did drop so i'll be recording that today posting it for tomorrow for you guys going back to the stream though they also did mention you know just hang spots in the game and that was something that I really did stress over the last coming months was you know we needed more meetup locations more things where we can just you know kind of park our cars meet up you know have a nice big parking lot and something like that they did say that they have been noticing that in the game so they're definitely gonna be adding more spots they did say now this was the standout jump of the stream this thing was absolutely huge really did remind me of a you know a previous jump in Forza Horizon 3 but obviously with a brand new scenic adventure on there you know coming down crashing right into these open Open fields and you know the destruction looks good I don't see a lot of you know kind of resistance on the grass nor through breaking through some of those items on speed wise however you do need speed to get through them right there as you guys can see he didn't have enough speed to get through that wall and uh, he just got stopped but it is nice to see that the objects do give a little resistance if you're not going fast enough to actually get through them now I mean if you guys look at the map though I mean every single time I looked at the map I seen massive amounts of just you know twisty curved roads out there and i really do like that right i mean i feel like this map alone has a lot more elevation and that was one of the big things that they did touch on was the elevation on the map has definitely changed from australia they said that you know the players felt a little bit you know kind of flat landed on this one here you're definitely going to feel a lot more of that elevation change which i definitely do like we also got a look at the car list uh which looks uh, really different than i thought it was going to look like i do like the revamp right here we can see our character Character in the background doing a little bit of a dance with the emote car ends up opening up and explodes I do like that little kind of cutscene on there where you can actually see your guy so it will you know have an effect to customize your guy with the emotes and stuff like that so you guys can see those in those loading screens obviously online and offline now 
They did go over a little bit on the roads itself. There was someone that asked in the chat regarding the potholes. And I mean, you guys can see the Mixer chat on the right. If you guys see any comments that you think are funny or that I missed on the right hand side, leave them in the comment section down below. Give me a timestamp. But regarding the potholes, though, they did say that there is quite a few of them in this map. I'm really, you know, curious to see how it's going to play with the suspension geometry on the car. Are we going to be able to get stuck on these? How deep are these potholes? Just all these questions that I cannot wait to explore myself and try to figure out. But, you know, it is definitely something new on the game to have potholes in that sense. They also introduced something about a super wheel spin. Obviously, as the name entails, right, it's a uh, super wheel spin, right? I mean, they said it's three times better than a regular wheel spin. So that, right, I mean, we'll have to see what happens there. Are we going to be able to get more exclusive items out of these super wheel spins? Or is, you know, just the prize money racked up times three and or, you know, maybe a Horizon Edition car in there? I mean, we don't know yet. There's a lot of speculation going around, but we'll have to wait and see. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Now, the host of this event, uh, he was really going on about, you know, trying to hit the animals on the game, which obviously that was a question that I had. And, you know, they were kind of exploring and talking about the different animals that can be found in the world. And there's actually quite a few of them. I mean, they ran into some sheep, some chickens, and, you know, they did say that the sheep will actually grow and fill out as it becomes winter time. And then once it becomes summer again, they'll be shaved and, you know, ready to go again. But, you know, it's definitely cool to see those changes progress. I'm really excited to kind of catch those as I'm playing. But to get to the big things of the day, right? They did tease this beautiful R32 wide body GTR. Thing looks phenomenal. And they did give us some really good information this time around. And they did give us an exact number on this. They said 30 brand new wide body kits will be coming into the game on top of what was already in there previously. So that's huge, right? I mean, we have brand new things coming in. They did say not all of them will be branded, but you know, the majority of them will be. And that's completely okay with me, to be honest with you. I would, I would be happy with non branded or branded it really doesn't matter just give us more customization seems like they're doing that going back to the character customization though this is what i was talking about and they did show off all 14 of the character models revamped this time around i think he said there was about 500 different clothing items moved across different categories so your tops your bottoms you know eyewear gloves you know the suits and all that stuff and i will be honest with you i went through some of that on the live stream and i was looking at it and you know i wasn't really too ecstatic about the clothing options you know they're definitely not something that I would be looking for to wear right? I mean some of the stuff yeah but the you know the majority of the things out there just you know it just wasn't me I mean I don't know we'll have to see hopefully the customization gets a little bit better moving on they didn't really show everything as well too but a lot of the stuff is just really flashy over the top items unless you're wearing a black t-shirt with the logo right so I mean again I'd love to know your thoughts down below about the customization obviously there's lots of room to work on this lots of room to you know to add in different things clothing items you know per month and stuff like that too so it's definitely going to be interesting to see they did mention uh someone asked the comment in the stream regarding if the guys can wear skirts or dresses in the game now and he gave a very interesting answer just have a listen right captain kilvillard says has come in and said can a man wear a dress yeah so for, yeah. for us for us like accessibility and inclusivity is super important so mm -hmm. for us we don't really specify gender at all in the yep. game so it's just you pick the character that you know you think resembles you um, mm -hmm. and you pick the clothes that you want to pick and there's no limitations yeah, clothes, like clothes are clothes and uh, just to show you that um any so there's no more genders in forza horizon 4 um you're people right i mean <laughs> i don't know what to say to that but they did go through some of the suits they don't have very many suits at all all that they have are just the chicken outfits really uh they did have quite a few different emotes as well too and they do seem like they last quite a bit as well too obviously trying to play into that Fortnite swing right trying to get the people out there moving around having some fun with their guys um, i don't know what i really feel about these to be honest with you i don't know how how well they're going to be utilized in the game i mean is it just going to be during the loading screens i don't know lots to find out still but obviously we can't get out of our car right so um, mm -hmm. we've now added the, this beautiful rocket bunny kit to it it's a really nice kind of classic looking kit but it's actually from i believe last year yeah um, so for horizon 4 uh, we wanted to keep adding kits it was something that was really well received with horizon 3 so we've, we've kept adding and we're, we're trying to keep up with what people like Liberty Walk, Rocket Bunny and RWB are doing. Have we got 30 new kits? Yeah, so we've got 30 new kits, um, most of which are branded and we've also got a, a special uh, off-road kit. 
So 30 new kits coming in. We have an off-road kit now confirmed as well too. So Forza Horizon 4 is looking pretty good right now for customization. I am hoping that, you know, we see maybe some new Forza Aero come into the game. I definitely feel like that should have been, you know, priority number one on the list of things to do. They also tease this beautiful McLaren Liberty Walk kit on here, man. Absolutely crazy. And then now they also got into that at the very end, which I'm very happy that they did show here. They did showcase the stancing of the cars with the spacer kit. Now it's a little bit different than what I expected. I, you know, I thought that maybe we we're going to be able to do it ourselves, but obviously Forza, you know, they're very, you know, not picky, but they're very perfect on what they do. So, you know, they've gave us upgrade kits that'll allow it to, you know, poke out. And these are, you know, dedicated per vehicle. So they did say that there's about 130 of these cars that can be, you know, spaced out and changed out. Obviously they don't want you tweaking it yourself, uh, you know, in case, you know, it starts going through the fenders, you know, start screwing it up, stuff like that. So I definitely see why they're doing that and it's definitely a great step in the right direction for Forza you know I hope to see that in Forza Motorsport 8 or 7 as an updated feature moving forward too that would be really cool to see but ladies and gentlemen though that was pretty much the whole stream condensed into about 10 minutes for you guys man you're welcome right i mean all i ask for you guys is slap that like button down below man i definitely do appreciate that the demo will be dropping very soon so make sure you guys do stay subscribed with post notifications man turn them on forza motorsports 7 content dropping tomorrow with a brand new top gear pack and we have two brand new porsches to look at as well too so i'm very excited to continue that series on ladies and gentlemen thank you guys once again for watching make sure you guys do go ahead and check out the full stream link found down below in the description box let me know your thoughts on the stream and how you're liking for Forza Horizon 4 already. I'm out. Peace.